welcome to another Pop Top Adventures video. I'm thinking of buying this house. We must have driven past it a million times on the way to the East Coast and we've never been. <gasps> Hello, you wonderful people of the internet. It's that time of year now where the weather gets a little better and we start using our van for day trips as a family. So we packed the van and headed out towards the seaside on an adventure. We wanted to get the most out of our day and with it being the Easter holidays, we knew it would be busy. So we set off at 8 a.m. to get to our first destination just as it opened at 10. On the way over, the weather turned and we thought we were going to be in for a wet and dreary day. However, 10 minutes later, the sun came out and the rain jackets firmly stayed in our bags. It was free to park, but the entrance fee to the grounds was £15 per adult and £10 per child. Not the cheapest of mornings, but we shall gloss over the cost for now. We arrived at Sledmere House and Gardens just as it opened, and the car park was already rammed. There was a gorgeous farm shop and cafe that you can visit without having to pay the entrance fee, but first we decided to visit the Wall Garden, Rare Breed Farm and Adventure Play Area. There was a lovely little museum in one of the old stables that gave us lots of information about the house and what it was previously used for. Plus, plenty of old items for you to have a look at too. We enjoyed petting the animals, but Branston was a tad jealous and wanted a piece of the action too. I'm definitely going in here, I'm going to handle some chicks. No, rubbish, it's not chick handling that I thought it was going to be. It's different, it's different. <laughs> we continued to stroll around the grounds and Branston got to feel special on his own little step. First, I thought the admission fee was a tad expensive, but having seen what they had to offer, I realised it was utterly worth it, and we had a wonderful time looking at the old carriages, animals, and they even got to play on one of the tractors, which is definitely for adults. Just inside here is the, uh, the lesser known invisible goat. You only get them in this area, but yeah, they look fantastic. Absolutely love those. <laughs> and in here is the lesser known three spotted storage shed. Uh, some interesting animals. Lovely. Not wanting to feel left out, Michelle skipped over to the tractor and had a play too. Even Come Branston on. and Olivia had a go. Good boy. <laughs> Sledmere is a village of design, not accident. It's an estate village which was built to support the magnificent 18th century Sledmere house, which is owned by the Sykes family. The Sykes family were a rich family from Hull who were looking to expand their interest into East Yorkshire. They inherited the Sledmere estate through their relationship with the equally wealthy Kirby family, and Richard Sykes, an energetic, far-sighted man, began work immediately to transform Sledmere into the superb stately home that it is today. We must have driven past it a million times on the way to the East Coast, and we've never been, so we thought this time, on the way to the East Coast, we're gonna go and see what it's all about, and it's beautiful. It's a bit expensive though, but I mean, to me, everything's expensive if it's not free. <laughs> I'll do a bit of B-roll and do a bit of interesting info. Overdub call will no doubt give you all the uh, facts and figures of the place, what you call. I'm not promising anything. Yeah, I thought as much. And uh, that's about it, really. So let's continue looking round and uh, maybe grab a coffee. We have brought provisions in the van, though, because that's the whole point of having a van, isn't it? Bringing your own food, your own coffee, getting the kettle on. But also sometimes if Michelle's paying, I'll let her just buy me a coffee. <laughs> Sir Branst a lot. I can see a bear behind. Look at this. Bit of bluefoot mums. There you go. Or whoever's interested. <laughs> it's only a marble statue though. I won't get demonetized for that, I don't think. Nice jugs. Lovely. Two of them. Because Michelle were paying, I, uh, I said yes to a coffee. <laughs> Card payments only here though. I couldn't tell you how much it was. I'm not interested because I didn't pay. But we're going to head back to the van now with our coffees and uh, head up further along the coast 
uh, probably go see my mum and dad for a minute and then I think we're going to go do some 2p machines and fish and chips because that's law if you come to the coast you can't not do it otherwise you get arrested put in jail for a long time uh, just so you know if you're coming across to the east coast that 2p machines fish and chips mandatory <laughs> Not a trip to the seaside without coming to see my mum and dad. In fact, my dad's on his way now. He doesn't know where here. Well, he probably does now because the van's there, but... Uh... You have a nice poo? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. How you doing? Yeah, not so bad at all. Yeah, we're all the girl. How are you all doing, are you? Here? I don't know. <laughs> we just decided to pop in. We've been to Sledmere. I'll turn this off. After a wonderful catch up with my parents and finding out from the owner Ross that lots of you awesome folk have been booking to stay here too, we headed off towards Scarbados. So we left my mum and dad's and uh, left them in peace because they were going out and uh, we've come over to Scarborough, Scarbados. Thought we'd get some pot noodles on, get a little bit of lunch inside us. Uh, we have parks right on the top, which is like the first car park. I'll, uh, it's not really a car park, you can just park on the side of the road. I'll put a little arrow somewhere on a map. And uh, as long as you've got one of those disc things, just put the time you arrived, pop it on your dash and off you go and you've got three hours uh, but I don't think we're going to stay here for three hours mainly because it'll take us three hours to get to the centre of Scarborough uh, so we'll probably have a drive down and, uh, and have a battle with all of the no parking spaces that there'll be over that way but I'd rather be down there and a little bit closer to everything that's going on now then <laughs> kettle's on eco flow's on Shell's eaten because she was getting hungry yep. so she's just smashed a sandwich in I feel better. she feels better and uh, Liv's chilling Branston's chilling, we've got an amazing view, which is nice, I love this. Oh, so lovely. But one thing to note as well on this bit, I know you can stay overnight down another parking spot in Scarborough, but up here it says specifically no motorhomes or camper vans between the hours of 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So no camping on the street. Although you wouldn't want to, would you? You want to be down near the front, wouldn't you? Right, so the sun's gone in now, so we're going to head down into Scarborough Centre, get parked up down there and have a wander around and maybe play on some amusements. Right, so we parked up and I didn't think we'd get this close to the castle. The castle on the hill. We're literally about, I don't know, about 20 foot away from the entrance of the castle and where all the amusements start and stuff. Uh, Michelle spied the spot, so... Uh, so we just tucked in and everyone's a winner, baby, that's the truth. She's gone to go pay now on pay and display. Don't think there's a limit. She just says Monday to Sunday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. is the parking charges. And then uh, the rest of the time, I think it's free. How much was parkings? £4.60 for three hours. £4.60 for three hours. Was it's it any... going up on the 19th of April. So if you come after the 19th of April, 2024, it'll be more. I want an ice cream this big, like they advertise, or I'm not having one at all. There you go, Brent. I bet that's faster than yours, mate. <laughs> Liv's just spotted a shop called Seabay, like eBay, but Seabay. So we're going to go see what they've got. Nah, it's basically like a little mini b and This, though, like I want everything. Look at these. Remember those? Do you remember those? The dummies. They were mint. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> it's a crazy cactus. It's basically what everyone does when they've had too much to drink in Scarbados. Oh, what's that? Finny Red Sensations and some finny jolly jamborees. <laughs> I bought a magnet and I think Michelle really liked it, but I wasn't ready for this reaction. It's literally just a magnet. But hey, if you like magnets that much, why not? <gasps> oh my it's God. It's nice, isn't it? That's amazing. That's proper midnight and I love it. I'm having the pink one. I'm having all of them on fridge. Look, after putting £900 worth of two pences in, I got this little cheap plastic bag. Nice! <laughs> Five pounds lighter and two miniature handbags better off. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they were. Horrible. But, you know, we had fun. It's getting dark though, isn't it? It's weird. You think it's going to start throwing it down? Yep.
Right, so basically what's happened is Branston has stolen somebody else's ball, another dog's ball, and uh, we have to go retrieve it from him because he always steals other dog's balls because he's an idiot. One happy dog and hopefully be a bit more tired now so when we go into places, although he can't go into anywhere for a while yet just because he's soaked. Right then, there's only one thing left to do now. We're in the uh, seaside. It's time to get some fish and chips. Let's get them smashed in. There's only one drink to have with fish and chips, I'm sorry. But it's drum and bass. <laughs> Dandelion and better. Nice. Look at the size of that fish. Literally, it's bigger than me. Yeah. And why have you got two jumbo sausages? Why have we got four meals? I think I might have got back. We've got an extra meal. Oh, curry sauce. Lovely. That's going to trigger the internet. What are you having curry sauce on your fish and chips for? Lovely fish and chips. That was rate really nice. Are we off back to the van? Yes, let's go. Nice. Time to go home. Drive back to uh, Leeds and... Uh, yeah, it's been lovely. Really nice day out. I've, I've really enjoyed it. We seem to have packed in so much stuff like Sledmere, then going to see my mum and dad, having a wander around Scarborough. The only thing we didn't do was the castle, but uh, I think that would have been a step too far, literally, for Olivia, who's not really enjoyed doing any kind of walkings. Uh, but she's enjoyed the 2P machines, obviously. It's time for the ceremonial first mount of this. because we've got wet dog and uh, I've got a bit of OCD, what I've done is put both of his towels down there because last time he made my rug stink and it never came out again. So, uh, go on in, in. Oh, nice. He knows where he's sleeping. Just needs uh, fastening in and then we're all good to go, aren't we? Yeah. Nice, so thank you so much for watching and uh, we shall see you on the next adventure, won't we? Yeah. Wherever that may be. Can I do it? Go on then. Yay, see you, bye. Stop walking with him. He's got a little cough. Do you know how I know? Because it's a little horse. I said welcome to a Pop Top Adventures video. He started crapping. And maybe that's his key. Maybe that's his like his signal to go. You just have to excuse Michelle. She's just picking dogs poo up. And uh... Uh, overdub call. Say something like Michelle didn't want to sit with us because she don't like us. Or something funny. Think of something funny. Or that she had bad wind and had to sit outside. <laughs> An hour away. See you bye. No, no, I didn't I didn't think it needs to be there. Yeah. It's fine. See you bye. <laughs> right, the sun's got <laughs> I didn't know you were going. Uh, drive down to the bot. Excuse me. So the sun's gone in and we're gonna <laughs> So the sun's gone in so we're gonna So the sun's gone in so we're gonna nip down to the bottom <laughs> Every time Right so the sun's gone in so we're gonna head down into Branston Stop it <laughs> I know I've shown him the sea now so he's like I wanna go to the seaside She said because she hadn't got a microphone on <laughs> I'm stood next to your microphone No I should be great I'm I'll... as close to your microphone as you are. Oh yeah. Should we ask Overdub Call? Overdub Call will know whether I'm right or you're right, whether it picked you up or not. What do you think, Overdub Call? Was I right or was Michelle right? I'm sorry to say, mate, but definitely Michelle was right. Even if I'm right, Overdub Call will say it's you. No, he won't. No, he won't. He's impartial. <laughs> I thought they'd be really squishy and not the balls inside, aren't they?